the entire internet community is abuzz with discussions about Meta's latest AI model, known as Llama. The reasons for its popularity are readily apparent. This remarkable AI tool has the ability to generate and discuss code based on textual cues, boasting a level of sophistication unparalleled in comparison to existing tools. In the forthcoming video, a comprehensive breakdown of Code Llama will be presented, encompassing its distinctive attributes, points of differentiation from other AI utilities, and practical methods for immediate integration into your workflow. In line with Meta's blog post, they introduce Code Llama, a substantial language model tailored for coding assignments. This model is established upon Llama 2, Meta's versatile language model designed to process text, images, and other forms of data. Code Llama focuses on generating and discussing code using both code related and natural language cues. It excels in tasks such as producing a Fibonacci sequence function or elucidating code functionality. Furthermore, it aids in code autocompletion and debugging by integrating code snippets or identifying errors within your code. The range of supported programming languages encompasses prevalent ones like Python, C, Java, PHP, TypeScript, Bash, and more. It can manage up to 100,000 tokens of context, facilitating intricate and extensive code bases. This represents a significant advancement over existing models, which often handle a mere few thousand tokens. Meta has introduced three editions of Code Llama in varying sizes 7B, 13B, and 34B parameters. All these versions have undergone training using 500 billion tokens of code and code-related data. The effectiveness of these models improves with their size, but this enhancement comes at the cost of reduced speed. The 7B model functions adequately on a single GPU, whereas the 34B model necessitates a supercomputer. The 13B model falls in between these two extremes. Additionally, Meta has developed two extra iterations of Code Llama, Code Llama Python and Code Llama Instruct. Code Llama Python is a version fine tuned exclusively with Python code, tailored for Python developers and learners. This focuses because Python stands as one of the most prevalent and well assessed languages for coding tasks. Meanwhile, Code Llama Instruct is optimized for enhanced comprehension of natural language instructions. This means that when you present a task in simple terms, the model can discern your intent and generate the appropriate code accordingly. One remarkable aspect of Code Llama is its fill in the middle FIM, functionality. It empowers you to seamlessly insert code into your existing content without necessitating any removal or substitution. This proves highly advantageous when you're aiming to complete a specific section of your code while maintaining the integrity of the rest. Suppose you've formulated a function to calculate the sum of two numbers but inadvertently omitted the segment responsible for returning the result. Here, you can enlist the assistance of Code Llama to finalize that particular segment using FIM. Now, let's delve into a comparison between Code Llama and other analogous tools. Direct rivals to Code Llama encompass ChatGPT and GitHub Copilot. ChatGPT relies on the GPT 3.5 model, whereas GitHub Copilot leverages the contextual capabilities of Codex. Codex, an extensive language model developed by OpenAI, draws its training from GitHub's code repository. Both ChatGPT and GitHub Copilot excel in generating and discussing code based on textual directives. Nonetheless, they do encounter certain limitations. For instance, their ability to manage context extends only up to 2048 tokens, potentially posing challenges when handling intricate or extensive coding endeavors. Furthermore, instances of inaccuracies might arise, leading to the generation of code that is not entirely secure or precise. When we assess the performance, Code Llama outperforms both counterparts across a range of tests. A significant assessment is Human Eval, an evaluation introduced by OpenAI to gauge a program's capability to generate code based on provided textual descriptions known as doc strings. A doc string serves as a guide explaining the purpose of a particular function or class within the code. The task entails producing code that precisely aligns with the given description. In the Human Eval assessment, Code Llama accomplishes 28.8% of the challenges, 
whereas ChatGPT achieves a 0% success rate and GitHub Copilot attains an 11.4% success rate. This discrepancy is substantial. CodeLama exhibits a higher likelihood of delivering accurate and secure responses compared to ChatGPT and GitHub Copilot. This is due to its alignment through increased human feedback and adversarial testing. However, let's consider GPT-4, which presents certain advantages over CodeLama while maintaining a similar length. For instance, it possesses the capability to process visual input, a function unavailable to CodeLama. Furthermore, it excels in generating inventive and cooperative content like songs, screenplays, or mimicking a user's writing style. Nonetheless, GPT-4 isn't specialized for coding tasks. In human eval, GPT-4 only tackles 18.6% of problems, a stark contrast to CodeLama's 28.8%, underscoring a noteworthy disparity. CodeLama possesses certain attributes absent in GPT-4, notably the FIM capability and instruction fine-tuning. Moreover, it offers greater accessibility and implementability than GPT-4, as I'll elaborate shortly. Before delving further, I'm thrilled to reveal an intriguing development, Unnatural Code Llama. This forthcoming iteration of Code Llama has undergone training on a confidential dataset comprising unnatural code. Unnatural code entails code deliberately composed to contravene coding conventions or best practices, exemplified by practices like employing deceptive variable names, excluding comments, or excessively nesting loops. Why might someone choose to train a model on synthetic code? The purpose is to enhance the model's resilience and versatility across diverse coding styles and situations. Synthetic code serves another role too. It can function as a means of concealing or encrypting code, thereby complicating efforts for human or machine comprehension. Although this model is currently undergoing development, certain leaked outcomes reveal its potential to match GPT-4's performance on different benchmarks. For example, it demonstrates the ability to attain a score placing it within the uppermost 10% of participants in a simulated bar exam, a feat GPT-4 could only achieve in the lowest 10%. Additionally, it can produce code that experts cannot distinguish from code written by humans. Referred to as unnatural code llama, this innovation is causing a stir on social platforms due to its intriguing possibilities. If you're keen to experiment with code llama, there's good news. It's now accessible on the Perplexity AI Labs website, allowing you to engage with it via a web interface. Furthermore, you can explore the 13B version of the Code Llama model on the Code Llama playground hosted by Hugging Face. Now, let's return to the benefits of opting for Code Llama over GPT-4. In terms of accessibility and deployment, one notable point is that Code Llama can operate on local machines, whereas GPT-4 necessitates cloud-connected servers. Another plus is that Code Llama doesn't come with any subscription structures or usage constraints, unlike GPT-4. You can employ Code Llama to your heart's content without incurring additional costs or facing limitations based on quotas or levels. Moreover, you need not be concerned about potential ethical or legal issues that could emerge from the utilization of GPT-4's cloud-centric mechanism. So, what could be the possible outcomes and future consequences of Code Llama? Frankly speaking, it represents a revolutionary development for coders across various proficiency levels and fields. It expedites the process of code composition and comprehension, facilitates the acquisition of fresh coding methodologies, and supports collaborative code deliberations. However, it's not without its imperfections. It could encounter difficulties with exceptional scenarios or unexplored programming languages and might encounter legal complications such as code that violates copyright regulations. Additionally, there's the aspect of competition. Tools like GPT-4 or other platforms fine-tuned for specific coding assignments could potentially pose a challenge to Code Llama. In order to maintain relevance, continual evolution is essential. As previously mentioned, Meta is actively engaged in introducing enhancements such as Unnatural Code Llama, along with the incorporation of image input. For more comprehensive insights and illustrations of the Code Llama concept, I recommend perusing their blog post. This concludes today's video presentation. I trust you found it valuable, and if so, 
please show your appreciation with a like and consider subscribing for further AI-related content. Additionally, share your thoughts on Code Llama and your anticipated applications in the comments section. Thank you greatly for tuning in, and I eagerly anticipate our next interaction.